So I'm helping him to this side. It's nice helping, that's why I'm helping. Nice. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. So I took the boat off the trailer. Um, I didn't get it on video because when I did it, it was like 11.30 at night. It just happened that I had a bunch of friends over where we were able to just kind of pick it up, take it off the trailer and we kind of just flip it over. And then we just set it here, put it on the saw horses. It is ready to be work done. I also picked up this plywood today for the transom. Just got, um, what's it called? It's just a half inch sheet of plywood. So for the transom, I'm going to just glue, oops, tripping over everything. I'm going to be gluing two sheets of, uh, I'm going to be gluing two sections of half inch together to get a full inch of the transom. Um, I was thinking about going thicker than that, but one inch is as thick as I can go. I'm going to be tracing out the transom template today and hopefully getting the, the two pieces cut out at least. I'm not going to have them, I'm not going to have the whole transom complete, but it would be good just to get them cut out. So here we got the bottom of the boat. It is in, uh, rough shape. Developed a lot of, something was rubbing against here. We have, have some damage here. I haven't really looked into this too much, but I have to grind this section down. I got another one here. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I actually don't know how these would have happened really. But, um, yeah, it looks like something, I don't even know. I don't even know what would have caused these little things. Um, so, I don't think it'll be hard to repair. And then here, at the back, this is the most damage the hull has. Um, this was caused by... Um, here, let me just show you what the trailer looks like because I'll show you how that crack happened. So this is the trailer. I'm going to do a lot of work to the trailer too. I'm going to actually probably remove these rollers and the front and back rollers and kind of uh, just put bunkers on them or bunks. They call them bunks, I think. So this here had uh, two bars like it continued out to here with two rollers on the on the end and both of those rollers snapped so basically every single bump that the boat hit on the road just causing a lot of pressure on the hull in that one area and the hull cracked i want to remove all the rollers and um just install the bunks basically just two by fours along the frame or the boat will just rest on it the whole way down i have to adjust the trailer a little bit to get the boat to fit on it properly because the boat comes, I think, the end of the boat comes about here. And if I wanna put bunks on it, I don't wanna have the two by fours sticking out like two and a half feet and not really being supported by anything. So I am trying to figure out how I can either make this trailer longer I might put a tongue extension on the front, make the tongue about two feet longer, and then I can, and then I can move this, then I can move this up two feet, and then the, the whole entire boat will be able to slide forward. But that's gonna happen, well, I wanna get the trailer done before or shortly after the bottom of the hull is finished. And let me just show you the bottom here. So if you look closely, 
Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. And maybe this is why all of my stringers are rotten. But um, if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has a little bit of an indent here. This side doesn't have it as much. This side doesn't have any cracks, on, at least near the back that I can see. I will be taking the grinder to this. I might even have to go all the way through. I'm not sure yet, but I'm, I'm gonna probably be taking, taking all of this out and then patching it with fiberglass cloth. So, let's see here. The keel, I'm gonna go over the whole keel, basically take all of this gel coat off. Well, I think I'm gonna take all the gel coat off because there's a lot of, there's a lot of dents and scratches and exposed fiberglass here, exposed fiberglass here. I want to, I don't want there to be any exposed fiberglass along the keel. So I'm going to probably, I might just recover. I might just cover, recover the whole entire keel. This boat has definitely seen a lot. There's a lot of these little divots in here too. I don't want that. I don't want any reason for water to get in. Oh, well, we got some, a lot of chunks out here. And then this is where the, uh, the eye bolt was where you can hook the trailer on. So yeah, that's the hull. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more you can see kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pushing out a little bit here. It does look like someone painted the top section of this boat. I'm sure, I think this bottom part is gel coat, the original gel coat, and then you can see like the line here. Somebody taped it up. They painted, looks like they brushed this section on. This part looks spray painted, but the whole side of the boat was probably also spray painted. So I might also just use spray paint to redo the whole boat. Because it's a little bit easier to work with than gel coat. I gotta decide what kind of paint I'm gonna go with though. But... I'm not gonna start on the haul tonight. I'm waiting for my full body suit to come in. I ordered a full body suit off of Amazon so that when I am grinding down the fiberglass, I won't get covered in it and get super itchy, really itchy, just from the fiberglass off of the stringers. So I wanted to, I wanted to be completely protected. So as of right now, I'm gonna trace out the transom, use my fancy, Use my fancy uh, template, trace out two sections side by side, and cut them out. Okay, so we have both both templates cut out. So we got a uh, first one, second one. I need to figure out what uh, kind of glue I'm gonna use to have them together, just glue them together, and then also might also might screw them, and then I'll get back to you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> 